I've got a lot of extra product tonight, so we're going to kind of make this not quite as big as I did the last one. So we're going to melt just a little bit of butter in a skillet or margarine. How many of you all like zucchini? I hope a whole lot of you. <laughs> Most people, you know, they don't know what to do with zucchini. And if you raise zucchini, you know, um, you don't have a lot and you're hoping for it, then all of a sudden you have mountains of zucchini. So I have found a lot of different ways to use zucchini, whether I'm putting it in something that's sweet, and that's usually people's go-to, zucchini bread, a zucchini cake, zucchini cookies, that type of thing. Sometimes they fry zucchini, but this is a nice little alternative, and I've got another recipe I'll bring you next time that's for a garden stew, and it's, it's still a skillet kind of dinner, but you put zucchini and eggplant and uh, bell peppers and other things in it that's really good also. Well, this one I'm heating my skillet, trying to heat my skillet. We're gonna melt this butter, then we're gonna add zucchini, two medium zucchinis, and then we're gonna add a medium onion, and we're gonna cook that till it's tender. Normally I have this step kind of done for us, but we're gonna go ahead and add some of that. Oh, I know. <laughs> You can tell that I grew up in the country because that's my kind of thing I like to eat. But you know, more and more people don't know what to do with, with zucchini and things. And uh, like I said, sometimes, you know, people start raising zucchini and they've never raised it before and they have no idea how much it produces. And you know, you can only give so much of it away. <laughs> All right, so we've got that here. We're gonna cook this. All right, well, we have got our zucchini good and done and your onions good and tender. So we're going to go back to our skillet tomatoes and zucchini. All right, so we've got our zucchini and onion done. We're going to add our tomatoes. All right, we're gonna add garlic, salt. Let's see, a half a teaspoon. I couldn't remember how much that was. Half of that. Then we're gonna add our basil. And I'm gonna have to look this basil. That seemed like a little bit small amount of basil, but I would have used a fourth a cup, but use about half of this basil. I get a little crazy with basil, so I'm gonna use about half of this that I've got here just to kind of flavor it just a little bit. Nancy would not approve. She was here. <laughs> I love basil. I have fresh basil. I put it in everything. All right. We're going to heat this through. Our tomatoes are real tender. And then we'll add some pepper. We'll add the pepper here in a few minutes. All right. Now we're just going to have to talk because normally I have one more recipe or I'm much further along. So hoping our squash casserole will Get done, dressing will get done quite quickly. Turn our tomatoes back up. Now, when I when I do this, Jared was so kind to crush. These are croutons, but you can use breadcrumbs or whatever you like. I like to crush them up instead of putting whole pieces on there. Something it just don't appeal to me, those big pieces of croutons. So kind of coarsely crushed. And of course, mozzarella. I always use a little bit more mozzarella than it calls for, obviously. Let's be real. It's cheese or sugar or whipping cream, you know. <laughs> you know what's gonna happen. Okay, we're gonna cook this just a few more minutes. It won't take long for the tomatoes to get done. And you know, I would think I love things like this, but I am not wild about cooked okra, like cooked okra and things like this. 
My husband loves it. I like fried okra, but I'm not wild about cooked okra and things like this. My husband loves it, and I'm just not a fan. I don't know why. Yeah. And I don't know why. Of course, I heard of the, now my husband's mother made the best okra that I ever ate in my life. And uh, the other day I heard those dreaded words. I had made, uh, uh, I had boiled new potatoes and then I just browned them in a skillet afterwards. And he said, I thought you were making fried potatoes. I said, I wasn't making fried potatoes. I made potatoes browned in their little jackets. He was like, these don't taste like my mother used to make. I was like, say one more word. <laughs> just one more word. <laughs> Remember that, that's something you never say. <laughs> oh, no matter how long you've been married. <laughs> All right, these are just about done. That's right. I'm, I'm, you know, I love to cook, but I am not great at frying chicken. I do not know why. That is just not one of my things. So, right. I, that's why I, I bake it. And uh, my husband absolutely loves fried chicken. I'm not good enough health to eat fried chicken. Of course, I did Sunday, so. <laughs> All right. Now these are just about all the way tender and heated through. Well, they were, but I started cutting them up to try to get them done. They will break apart. They do break apart some, and I cut some of them up, but they broke apart. When, once they start getting tender, they just start. But now if you want to cook them just a little bit and then lay them, you know, kind of leave them laying on top, time constraints. Yes, yes, it would be. Yeah, it would. Corn. And peppers. Peppers would be good in this. Because I'm one of those, I use whatever I have in the garden. You know, I'm always trying to find something that... All right, now we're going to add... It says remove from heat, but I'm still uh, heating my tomatoes. I've got to get the pepper also. So, you're supposed to add a cup of cheese. Well, we've got two cups, so that's what we're using. That's right. You can't go wrong with cheese. Mozzarella cheese, and you ask and, like, about eggplant. Eggplant is good with mozzarella cheese. Yeah. Just, just like zucchini, it is watery. Um, if you're going to bake it like in slices or whatnot or fry it, put it between a paper towel, slice it, put it between a paper towel for a little while to dry it out just a little bit. It has the seeds. It does, but you can always kind of cut them in half and cut around them a little bit if you want. Okay, I'm gonna turn the heat off of this now. Let this melt just a little bit more. Now you can always take this out, put it in a pan or on a, on a pretty serving tray and then add your cheese and your croutons because it will, it will still melt it because it is so hot. And this is a wonderful little dinner. And this is dinner to me, you know, whether you have meat or not in it. But this, when we get it on a plate, will be beautiful. It's still melting in here, getting good and bubbly. All right, so who is ready to eat? All right, thank you all.